All right, we are back and we're ready to continue exploring this dungeon. I've got quite a bit of time here today. So I, I definitely plan to have the giant down. I'm uh, York, I think his name is. Or is it Yorm? Whatever his name, I, I suspect I've got plenty of time to get him handled today. So that, that's our overarching goal. I actually think I have more time than that. So after handling him, it's, it's going to be the dancer. The dancer is the one I think I've probably been most uh, nervous about uh, since beginning. So once once Yorm the Giant is handled, it will be 100% focus on the dancer and what we can accomplish in that respect. I don't think the dancer's oh fuck you. Oh. Don't think the dancer is variable. And that's my biggest concern because a lot of the a lot of the bosses that I've thought I would struggle with I've been able to parry and then they turned out to not be that much of a struggle. But uh dancer I don't believe can be parried. So I am going to definitely have difficulty with that fight. Thought that one would shout at me. <clears throat> I'm gonna check out this lower floor here before I advance. I thought I could get by that guy. I knew I knew about that dude being there. I just I really thought I could make it by him without. Thought if I was in a full sprint I would make it by without him hitting me.
one to be cool. Throw out a pair. Put that milk ring back on. And start airing some things. What? Way too early. All the way. Get a partial. I don't know if this door opens from the other side, so I always like to come down here and open it just to be just to be thorough. I can hear a dog cooing. I hope it's not being picked up by the mic, it's kind of it's annoying me a little bit. I can only imagine how it's making you people feel. Let's... Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you! Alright, heal this up. More damage. <sighs> Unnecessary damage is one of the most annoying things to me. Alright, cat ring back on. Take the plunge. You have to forgive, like, I guess you don't have to. I'd like you to forgive uh, my lack of commentary tonight. I am actually pretty tired, a lot, a lot more tired than I really thought I was when I initially picked up the controller. All right, Kevin doesn't fix it from everything. We've learned that now.
I was wondering if that's the way it worked because I, I've heard of a, a spell, I think it's called Spook, uh, that the thief starts with. And from what I can tell, that will protect you from all fall damage unless the damage would have killed you. In which case it does not. And I was thinking maybe that's just how the cat ring worked as well. And it kind of seems like that is the case. I'm about to die. Alright, we got him. Roll out, keep rolling, baby. You don't give a shit about nothing. Alright. All I wanted was this shortcut. We got it. Oh, timer's here. So I, I will, uh, yeah, I'll unlock the gate and then cut it right there. And when we get back, we'll fight this giant.